interrupt you for just a moment. We've got breaking news coming out of California. Apparently, uh, this uh, decision has been overturned by a federal court. Decision has been overturned is the preliminary uh, information that I'm getting. I'm going to my computer now. I'm being told frantically by my producers it should be there. In the meantime, let's go to Dan Simon. He's outside the courthouse. Uh, Dan, do some reporting for us. Well, Rick, I'm told by, uh, by a CNN producer who's upstairs in the clerk's office here at the uh, Federal District Courthouse that Proposition 8 has been found to be unconstitutional, meaning that Proposition 8 is effectively overturned. What that means in the short term, we don't really know. We don't, means, we don't know if that means that suddenly same-sex couples can, can resume getting married in the state of California. We still need to, to look at the documents to figure out how it immediately uh, affects same-sex couples here in the state of California. But this is a hugely, uh, this is a huge victory for same-sex marriage supporters, a huge victory uh, for everyone uh, who wanted to see Proposition 8 overturned. Uh, as we've been reporting from the very beginning, this is just one stop in a very long legal highway, if you will. Ultimately, this is going to be appealed. But in the meantime, this is exactly uh, what same-sex supporters wa wanted. They wanted to get a victory here in federal district court, and apparently they got one, according to our producer, who is mm. looking at the documents right now on the uh, 18th floor of the courthouse. He's going to run those documents down, and we hope to, uh, to read them for you on the yeah, as, as a matter of fact, here's what I'm hearing. Um, while you were doing that report, I was just hearing from uh, uh, my uh, producer, Andreas, uh, who told me that uh, it's not on the web as we expected, that uh, the information is in, in, is in document form, uh, and they gave it to some of the producers that we have inside the building behind where Dan is right now. Uh, a lot of reaction is going to be coming in on this. Let me just set this up for you guys at home, okay? It's a very, very important decision that has just been reached that will likely have uh, repercussions uh, throughout the United States and may be going all the way past this court, uh, possibly to as far as the Supreme Court. Why? Because this thing has been long in coming. Uh, the last part of this, the last step in this process prior to today was when 52% of the people living in California, that doesn't mean all of the people in California, as many of you have reminded me on Twitter, but 52% in this, uh, in this referendum decided that uh, same-sex marriage was not legal, that it should only be between a man and a woman. Since then, it's been challenged again and again, and it finally got to this federal level with this court. And now this judge has come back and said, sorry. Uh, you can't make a decision that uh, seems to uh, disallow this type of marriage. Uh, folks are saying, and, and I'm hearing you on Twitter, uh, thousands of you, including uh, people like Ellen DeGeneres, saying, look, this is about equality. That's what this is. This is about equality. You'll hear that argument again and again. Some folks on the other side are saying, no, uh, we are against this uh, proposition. It's been called Prop 8. You've been hearing a lot about it. Let me go back to Dan Simon. Let me ask my producers while we're doing that if we can hook up once again. Let's see if we can get Gloria Borger back on. Uh, let's see if we can get Kendall Coffey back on. Gloria, Gl Gloria Borger's back with us as well. Gloria? Uh, if yeah. you're there, you're, uh, just, you're, just your, your preliminary reaction to this decision. Right. Well, when I, when I see that the judge ruled that Prop 8 is unconstitutional under both the due process and equal protection clauses, that is exactly what uh, Ted Olson and David Boyes wanted to hear because they argued this specifically on the grounds that Proposition 8 violated the equal protection clause in the way that segregation violated civil rights, in mm -hmm. the same way that uh, laws against interracial marriage violated civil rights. So I would say that this is exactly uh, what they want to hear and that of course this will be appealed uh, to the mm. to the ninth circuit but i think you'd have to say that this mm. is a large uh, victory for ted olson and david boyce ted rollins is standing by now he's in los angeles he's going to be monitoring some of the reaction that's going to likely uh... pour out into the streets throughout the course of uh, the next several hours uh, i imagine that there are going to be some people there who are going to be celebrating tonight uh, ted 
Uh, absolutely, Rick. And it's funny the way this is, you know, just now starting to trickle because of uh, CNN's reporting. Uh, we sort of announced that the people have been monitoring their blackberries uh, throughout West Hollywood here. We're at the Abbey, which is an institution, a gay bar that's been around for about 20 years. And people here are just starting uh, to get the word. Uh, your initial reaction, we were talking earlier uh, about uh, this whole thing. And, and now that it's come down, uh, what do you think? I think it's excellent. It's an overruling of an overruling. It's back to where the law should be. I think it's a gay issue, and I think, I know everyone in the world, everyone in this country can vote, but I think it's a gay issue, and I think that heterosexual people should defer to the uh, homosexual population and say, what do you guys want to do? And that's what we want to do. So. All right. Well, I don't know that that will ever uh, happen, uh, but uh, everybody will have a vote. Uh, uh, these folks have just, just found out the news as well. Uh, you're from San Francisco. Uh, your, your thoughts? Uh, I think it's great. You know, the more we can do to get... Uh marriage uh, recognized legally uh, equality the more we can do for equality on a legal level on a federal level is great mm -hmm. so as this goes forward I, I hope it just gets better a lot of same-sex uh, couples obviously in this uh, area of Los Angeles uh, Rick and so there's a lot of interest um, in, in this area y your thoughts a lot of people have been talking a little uh, a lot of people were very pessimistic Rick before we got to this, this decision uh, but uh, boy at this time it looks like um, the, the federal courts at least agree uh, with the idea of same-sex marriage or at least agree that it should not be banned by the state of California right no it's huge I'm super excited it's a step in the right direction like we just need to keep moving forward with it I mean it shouldn't even really be an issue and the fact that we have to have these conversations are sad but this is this is really great really great news Right. Initial reaction, Rick. Uh, uh, it's it's a bit tempered, as we talked about before. Everybody's well aware of the fact that this is the first step in a long process, likely going to the Supreme Court. But you can bet there'll be a lot of celebrating here mm -hmm. uh, in this area, at least tonight. Uh, so where as where the word travels and there? Yeah. Ted, Ted, just wonder where where are you? Uh, I mean, I don't mean specifically block by block, but what part of uh, L.A. are you in? That that would garner that kind we're, of. We're uh, in West Hollywood. Yeah. West Hollywood. Okay. Um, what West Hollywood, yeah, and specifically we're at the Abbey, which is, uh, their slogan is 20 years and still raising the gay bar. So uh, <laughs> this is an institution here in West Hollywood. Uh, so so and, where would uh, the... Obviously a lot of opinions uh, where, on one side. No we, no, we get that, and that's why let's just be real transparent about it. Uh, where are the 52% who yeah. voted against uh, the, what this judge has ruled today? Uh, I imagine they're just, you know you know the state, you, you cover it every day. Uh, are they just in different parts? Is it more of a suburban opinion? Uh, how is this usually broken down? Well, you know, it, it, it's uh, historically uh, the the right is, is, you know, more in Orange County in, in uh, Southern California. And then throughout the state, you know, California, uh, if you drive 100 miles either way, you're going to be in a vastly different area. And the mm. pockets, uh, I mean, you could walk a few streets away from here uh, and a few miles and head towards Beverly Hills, and you may have a little bit different opinion. Uh, it, it is really 52 percent to 48 was the vote on Prop 8. Latest polls show it's closer uh, to almost 50-50, maybe even leaning towards same-sex. So it's a very divisive and very close issue here. A lot of people are going to be pleased here. A lot of other people are going to be very bitter and disappointed uh, by this decision as well and are at this moment as this, as this news travels. Interesting. Uh, good stuff there, Ted. Way to hustle and uh, get some uh, reaction to this uh, here uh, for us on uh, Rick's List. Uh, okay, so the decision is essentially uh, the overturning of this uh, referendum that had been passed in uh, California.